In this video, we'll cover how to find full text, primarily in journal articles. We can get full text directly from the library databases, use the Find Full Text button, use Google Scholar and Google Web, and know a little bit about the quirks of search systems. Supposing you search a library database, you might notice search results with some indication of how to read the article once you've found a description of one. For example, a link that reads view full text or PDF full text, such as this one, shows that you can get it readily. You can then read it online, download it, and perhaps print it out and mark it up, store it in Google Drive, or email it to yourself, or any other mix of your preferences. You also might want to save a permanent link, also called a permalink or a stable link, which are great for getting back to database content without having to redo a search. Permalinks are especially helpful for saving entire search results. There are other indications that the full text can be found. The Find Full Text button often links to the article even though the text is not stored in the database. Other times, the Find Full Text button redirects to the Access Options page. It's like a redirection page. Let's take a look at some examples. This article is readily available as we use the Find Full Text button. This button doesn't always go directly to the articles, as we'll see, but it's always worth a try. The Find Full Text button for this article brings us to a page where there are other access options, where we can check Google Scholar or Oyster, which is a large catalog of open access records. But for the most part, Google Scholar is a great first choice. There's also a link to the interlibrary loan form where you can make a request if we can't find the article using either of these options. If we click on the Google Scholar link, we'll be directed to the article record. If there are any full text options available, they will be linked on the right side of the page, like this one, which brings us to the full article. Now let's consider this article. Neither Google Scholar nor Oyster provides the full text but now we can use the interlibrary loan link. You'll need to sign in using your Simmons username and password to use the request form. Notice how the form is almost fully filled out. Just add the time in the area of the form that reads date not wanted after. This is helpful if you need an article based on a deadline, but if you need the article regardless of the time constraint, simply add a good amount of time, like a year or so. You can also add a note if you'd like to share anything or if there's anything we might need to know. You can also find the interlibrary loan form on the library homepage in a couple of quick links. Google Scholar can be a great search tool to use along with library databases. For example, we can search culture care nursing theory and filter the search results for articles since 2018. Notice the Check Simmons full text link on the right side of the search results. This link is designed to send us to a Simmons library database where the full text is stored, but the Check Simmons full text link is only visible through the Google Scholar settings. To view the Check Simmons full text links, sign into Google first, then go to the Google Scholar settings, click Library Links, search for Simmons University, check off Simmons University Check Simmons full text, and save. Now when you search Google Scholar, you'll see the Check Simmons full text links on the right side of the page whenever Simmons University has full text to the articles. Bear in mind though that these links aren't always functioning as they should, so if you ever run into any trouble, remember that you can contact us about these issues. You can also use Google Web, that is just plain Googling. You can use an article title as your keywords, which together will produce the closest matches where open access could be an option. ResearchGate.net, for example, is a great place to find articles shared by researchers. Another thing to keep in mind is the use of the library database full text selection box among the filters in the search result page. This can be helpful to use if you need quick full text options, but it can limit how much you can discover about what exists on your topic. You can then use the Find Full Text button for possible options. Search systems have some idiosyncrasies, especially when more than one system is connected. For example, sometimes Find Full Text links redirect to the journal's website instead of directly to the article. There could be a number of reasons for this, but you can always use Google Scholar or Google Web to search the title for a direct link to the full text. 
On occasion, you might even get a broken link of some kind, which can happen simply because of the way different websites update their links or for some other technical reasons. To review, we covered how to find full text directly from the library databases using full text links. We also learned about getting full text with open access sources with the Find Full Text button. We then covered full text tips when using Google Scholar and Google Web. And we also learned how to work around quirks related to search systems. If you need any help, please reach out. Chat, call, email, or meet by video. Talk to you soon.